Uh, all right, let's bring Rudy in here to talk to him. For oh, okay, Rudy, come here. Hey, man, I have not talked to you in a long time, Rudy. How are you, buddy? Uh, right now, dog, like um, like um, I'm a little blazed. You know, well, I'm a little tired, and um, you know, I'm trying to shake myself out of it because I you know, like pretty a bright. lot, of, a lot of people bright. listen to the show for. I'm trying my best, dog, to like um. Well, why did you blaze out before you came in here? Because I'm awake. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you're like pretty, I, you're pretty wake and bake constantly. Now. I, as much as like, like I, I figure like the best thing I can do is replace as much oxygen with weed. Okay. So that I can like, so I feel like it's a missed opportunity every time I take a breath. I see. And and oxygen. Like, like right now, like I'm breathing and, 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 and there's no weed. PJ I, oxygen. I get it. Maybe we'd have a weed chamber for you sometime. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh damn. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be good, dope. right? So yeah, but but when you were working at Jamba Juice, you were kind of straightening out a little bit. Well, like um for for a while there, there were there was como se dice, a fucking corporate thing. Yeah. But now I work at a franchise. And the vato who owns it, he doesn't give a he fuck. He he I can come in there like blazing fucking vape in my hand. And the corporate thing, you got in trouble because you were giving out too much free stuff to your friends, I remember. I was just sort of like I was hooking up everybody with like fucking boosts. Yeah. You know, like wheat grass. Wheat grass and shit. And like uh, I was punking all the other employees, you know, because I was like, get your shit together. You know, like a lot of like um, young teenagers and they're like they didn't want to work. They were just like their fucking summer job or what. In and there like, with you. And I'm juice. like, let's go. Fool. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I started sprinkling scante. In their in their shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, cause the, in the teenager stuff, yeah, so because they would it would get harder. them like uh, all like keyed up. You know what I'm saying? Did you ever like, worry that that's going to get you into kind of legal trouble by putting meth into other people's food and drinks and things? I'm like, doing them a favor, doc. No, I understand, but but I think you learned how to do this with your wife. Now you, that's right, fool. Your wife's name is Sad Girl. That's right, fool. Where'd you get that name from? Well, cause like um, like uh, when she was in eighth grade, fool, she like uh. Was always mopey and sad, you know, oh. because of like she had a hard life. Fool. She was sexually abused. I don't want to say that on the air, but like there's that's a possibility. Okay. I know that she was physically abused okay. in her household, sure, and that shit's not right. You know what I'm saying, fool? And like uh, she dealt with a lot. You know, she was poor, yeah. and like um, I think she did a good job of a lot of the time. I remember stuck or well, putting on a happy face, but there's always those moments where. She would let that sad face creep through. Uh, I see. I and thought it was because she had like, teardrops down the side well, of her. Well, that's what she got the fucking teardrops, uh, dog. It was, the, it was like, that's the chicken uh, and egg shit uh, right there. Oh, I see. I get you. And so now she had how many kids? Oh, fuck. One. These are all your kids, yeah? Rudy Jr. All yours, yeah? Little Whisper. Sniper number two. Fucking seven. Seven. And they're all yours. That's right. Fool. Yeah. And Rudy Jr. is getting to be up, up like an adult now, right? 19. Fool. Oof, I thought he was older than that even. And and so because of so many pregnancies, she ended up having some difficulty regulating her weight or something. I remember her like um, being like a size two with mm-hmm. a fat ass and big chichi stuff. You know, that's how I remember. And I feel like that's how she remembers herself. That's how she wants know? to be. And like I, I, I still see her like no matter how fat she got like no matter how big her fucking fupa would be floppy over her dickies dog i would always think to myself like i still see the most beautiful woman in the world i get it you know and like um (laughs) what's so funny fool i'm saying like i was just thinking about the fupa You've I, used, need you've that, used less I need that. Kind. I need that sound bite, dog. You <laughs> just play it over and over. You, you've used actually less kind words to describe. What's I'm just going saying, on. like her floppy panza would be like flopping over her dickies, dog. What's and the like, other? What's that part called? Down that's here? a panza right there. Panza. The fupa. Fupa. Okay, got it. For a lady, it's a fupa, okay. but it could be panza your your fucking belly fat. I see. You know? Okay, got it. And like, uh, it would be no matter how floppy it got, no matter how much her chichis were sagging down by her belly. You still stuff, saw the. I saw like the most mare. beautiful girl in the world. Yeah, but she was having trouble seeing that. For she would look in the mirror and cry. Right, I literally actual fool, tears, literally, not the tattoo, not tears. a tattoo, dog. Yeah, yeah. I walked in the bedroom one time. She didn't know I was home. Fool, I came home early from Jamba Juice. That Vato Victor let me go early, and then I come home and that fucking bitch is in the in the mirror staring at herself, crying. Oh. And I go, "Honey, what's wrong, baby?" I come home and she said, "I'm just so unhappy with how I mm. look." And I, she was trying the pinche Weight Watchers and La Ooh. CrossFit Ooh. and and what all this shit. La and none of it worked for her, fool. So I just took it upon myself. I said, "I know." I know what I can do. I know what's magic when it comes to weight loss stuff. So I went down to visit this this Vato bum in Pomona. Mm-hmm. That's his name. He's not a bum, doc. He's his name it's is his nickname. Bum. Yeah, it's like cricket. 
And like I went to this vato lives in Pomona. He has methamphetamine. He has scante for days for broken windows, dog. Little glassy broken. Oh uh, yeah, window so, pane. No, that's VLSD. Broken windows. Okay, got it, got it. So like I collected some, mashed it up as best I could, and I started secretly putting it in her food, and then her horchata, in her fucking huevos in the morning, everything. And then she lost weight. She lost 125 pounds. Wow. Though. She never looked better. There's some side effects, though. Fool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, it, this isn't just purely a happy ending. Right. Firstly, she took apart every appliance in our house. Uh, every fucking one. She thought TV was talking I to her. Came, came home. She said, Mira, Conan <laughs> O'Brien is talking to me fucking in the in the television and she fucking opened the television up to get to conan o'brien and shit my refrigerator all the food fucking spoiling on the table everywhere and i'm like what the fuck and i go in there the refrigerator looks like wally just like a fucking little nub of yeah. parts and shit sure and so she did that she stabbed my tia who, who? my aunt oh my aunt martha she oh. fucking stabbed that bitch oh for nothing, fool. Uh, she she, she says she saw. She's like, "Hey, you're thinking about me." She's like, "Marta, Marta, quit it, quit it." You're and thinking like, about what, me, what right? You, what are you talking about, fool? And she's like, "Marta, she's the devil incarnate, oh, and she's talking yeah. to me." And yeah. she th- and she reached across the table. We're having a fucking barbecue. Carne asada everywhere. It's flying in there. She fucking dang, dang, dang. Oh. stabbed her with a f- spork, mm. and then fucking. <laughs> the worst part is <laughs> she with a spork. She yeah, a spork thug. She cut her leg off. Wait, she cut your aunt's leg off? No, she cut her own leg off. Why? She said there was bugs in it. Bro. Oh, no. Was bugs crawling in bugs? her leg, and she just cut her leg off. Oh. You know, so now she's got a fucking peg leg. Oh, boy. Well, you know, but she's hey. She's not crying about her weight anymore, right? Como se dice? So is life. That's how it goes? Yeah. Speaking of so it's life, you've always had a great attitude about your years in prison. You there were, that there long were, time, but before there were you, ups and downs. Before you talk about it, let me talk about data breaches. You can appreciate this, Rudy. Oh, right? data breach. If you were a criminal today, you'd be into this stuff for sure. DoorDash, food delivery service, breached, affecting almost 5 million users. Zynga, makers of words with friends, breached, possibly Breach, exposing fool. hundreds of millions of players' names, email addresses, passwords. That's look, we love we like the internet, right? We dig the I internet. love the internet for Yeah, and that's you know, Pornhub. It's well not just the porn you but jizz. it's more it's it's more Red efficient. Tube. There's a great opportunity for us to do things better and and more rapidly, but there's some liability. Grinder. We have to protect yourself against that. I say that that's why you need things like LifeLock. With your info from a data breach, criminals can open accounts, tax file tax returns, buy property. You can miss threats if you're only monitoring your credit. Good thing there's LifeLock, which detects a wide range of identity thefts, like, say, social security number for sale on the dark web. Matt. No one can prevent all identity theft or monitor all transactions at all businesses. Join LifeLock now and get an extra 10% off your first year. Use promo code ADAM. Call 1-800-LIFELOCK or go to LifeLock.com. Use promo code ADAM for an extra 10% off. And so, Rudy, um, just, just that so- bottle's good, dog. Yeah, he's he does good. It he does quick, well, right? Like yeah. Sounds nice. Sounds, sounds professional. Nice voice and shit. Thank you. And and so you spent some time in prison, and just, just those people that might be getting to know you for the first time, um, your roommate, my my roommate was your roommate? wasn't fucking Yale dog. I was my cellmate. Cellmate, I yeah. beg your pardon. Uh, Trout, Trucha, uh huh. Lavato Trucha, tough dude. He had a hard life. He had a hard life too. You you're thinking about these people differently now than the last time I talked to you about them. Before you were a little less, a little more resentful. I'd say now you saw you're, that you're seeing there. You're more compassionate to mira, the people that t- took advantage of you. Mira, for I saw Joker, and I was thinking about origin stories, right? Origin stories, and I was like, what makes people get to that point where they're fucking super villains? What made Trucha get to the point where he blasted my asshole, <laughs> made my asshole look like old calamari and shit? <laughs> yeah, there's a backstory, no doubt. Bad things happen to him. You know what I'm saying? For I know what you're saying. And I like uh, I talked about it before with you. He would just push my head down in the in the in the pillow. No, I thought it was in the rice. The, that the was beans. in the kitchen. Full the kitchen. Yeah. The kitchen that one time, but I yeah. I kind of like that. Oh. But like um, I kind of got like um Stockholm butthole. You, you ended up kind of liking it after because a while. like I I started to um. Connect with him, mm. you know. And no, even though you, it was you, like abusive, it was just like bo- traumatic I had a, bonding. I had a codependent colon. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, folks. Yes. They would just invite. Like my ass was like Pac-Man, just like black. No, black, no, black. come on now. 
So you're feeling better about these things these days. So good. So a lot of things are better. You feel bad about what happened to Sad Girl. I never look in the rearview mirror anymore, dog. I'm always like got my eyes on the front. You know? All right, man. Well, what do you want to say to the, the Coral listeners? Just some words of words of wisdom and, and inspiration. Follow me on at Kulo Breaker on Instagram, fool. Mm-hmm. At Kulo Breaker. How do you spell that? C-U-L-O. Okay. Breaker. Okay. And fucking, that's the best advice I can give you. And then another piece of advice is like goes out to everyone. When you go into Dodger Stadium, fool, get a plastic bag of tequila and duct tape it to the inside of your leg. Ah. And that's the best way to get the 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 booze into it. Because no one wants to pay fucking seven dollars for a beer, right? So you just do tequila out of a plastic bag. That's right. Like you bring a straw too, so you can just pull it right out of the bag that way. That's right, fool. All right, man. How about those Dodgers here? I haven't talked to you since. Uh, they rough, been... dog. You know what I'm saying? Like rough. I feel like the Dodgers. Listen, fool. Right now in the playoffs, the mean. the World Series twice, fool, yeah. just to lose. Yeah, it's kind of like fucking Eva Mendez inviting you into your house twice in lingerie. She's like, oh, come in, Fato. It'll be great. It'll be dope. No, we're going to fuck. It'll be awesome. And then, like, getting naked, which is ama- like amazing. You're like, this is unbelievable. And then right when your pito gets, like, close, you pull back your foreskin, dog, okay. and you're get, like, like, like fucking a bandana. Yeah. You just roll up, and you're ready for action, fool. You, right when you get to the panocha, the tip, a fucking... Clown flies out of the ceiling and slaps your dick and pushes you out of the fucking room. Okay. And Eva's laughing at you, pointing at you and yeah, shit. Yeah. Then that shit happens next week yeah. again. Yeah. That so it's not the I'd rather fucking sometimes I'd rather be like Eva Mendez walk by and be like, fuck that. I'm not you're, yeah, you're a loser for Yep. You're right. It's not as painful. That's so, all I'm saying. So you, are you pulling for them to beat, lose to the Nationals? Is that what you want? No, I'm pulling, still pulling for them to win, Doc. Right. I love the Dodgers, fool. Okay. You know, I got Fernando Valenzuela tattooed on my in, inside of my leg. Fool. Yes, I know that. And then you there's know? Jesus at bat or something. No, Fernando's throwing a screwball to fucking Jesus. Uh-huh. And Virgin Mary of Guadalupe is catching. Oh, uh, yeah. And Jesus is, is swinging and missing, mm. but... The baseball is becoming a dove. Birds, yeah. As as it flies by. Okay. That's, that's and my uncle Ramundo is in the back as an Aztec warrior. Oh. And there's a waterfall. Oh. And he's wearing bullet <laughs> nice. bullets on is his. Is like an Aztec temple there too? Manchichis. In front of the wall. Yeah, the dead, oh, dead yeah. babies and shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rudy. Good to talk to you. It's been a long time. Thank I you, I love man. you, Dr. All right, Drew. Buddy. Thanks, Take care. Whew. Wow. Yeah, Rudy, very talkative, but, but different attitude than I'm used to. A positive guy now, you know? Uh, less less edge, a little more positive, a little more forward looking. His his uh his mustache when I looked him up on Instagram is like more prodigious than I expected. Oh, you didn't expect it, it is. to be it's so a, much, yeah. It's very uh <laughs> robust. <laughs> Are you Kulo yeah. Breaker? Do you go to Kulo Breaker? I, I did. Yeah, yeah I, I, I followed him. You know, he seems like an interesting cat. He is an interesting cat. Yeah. He he gives a little like morning uh Got some hot takes. Hot takes every morning. Not every morning. Every morning? No. No. no, But but often. 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 And uh, words of wisdom. He's active. (laughs) I think Rudy, where everybody is so concerned with political correctness right now, (laughs) I think Rudy's a really refreshing character because he just powers right through. I don't think he knows about political correctness. I don't think he, like, hits his awareness. Right. So he just goes on.